Hi everyone, Sailor Venus, Mina here, or Sailor Hot World here, and today we're going to talk about, you know, why we never ever, why we don't never was in a bind with totally over double right. Now, a lot of folks might wonder, Oh, why we never gotten in a bind with Toei or anyone else when it came to ownership and double right? Well, first off, because we don't put anything in our films that is either owned or double righted by someone else. Now, first off, we don't care about our double right, but other folks out there do care about their double right. You know, so first off, we don't do any, we don't have any songs or shows or films or anything on here that's either owned and either a Toei either has ownership or double right over or both. You know, so that's why we never were in a bind with Toei over ownership and double right because we never put anything in it. You know. Now some folks out there might think it's boring to uh, to not make a film with working with any of those things, you know. But yeah, you know, that's how we never ever get in a bind with them. How do you get in a bind with them? Well, first off, Dawnland doesn't have a, a fair work law. They don't have a fair work law, you know, that is an offshoot of their ownership and double right law. All they have is ownership law, double right law, that's it. There is no middle ground, like there is no, there is no middle, you know. And that's what so many folks out there don't understand. You know, they think that every land has the they think every land's ownership and double right laws are the same. They're not. And Dawn Land, they don't have any fair work. There is no fair work law in their land. So that's why they, that's why a lot of folks end up getting their work flagged for, you know, ownership and double right grounds. Even when they believe that the work, even when they believe that the work is now fair work, and that it is no longer the same kind of work it started out being. Now I'm not going to go and talk about fair work and how it works, you know, and if you meet the standard of fair work or not. So anyway, that's why we never never ever were in a bind with them when it came to ownership and double right because we have made sundrious uploads and lives going about 10 years and then those 10 years we never put any song or film or show or play that they've either had ownership or double right over so yeah and I know someone out there might say oh well Toei can still get you on on the dolls. Well, truly they cannot. See, the thing is, is that dolls or toys or whatever you want to call them, they were they were made for folks to play with and show off and gather or whatever. Now, it would be hard <coughs> to get ownership and double right over every single Sailor Moon doll that ever was made you know but there was I believe our trade worked meaning that a business had that the, 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 the toy business had the right to make them and if someone else was making them and didn't have the right to make them then they could get in a bind with trade work so no you know so anyway at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, it's more of working with their songs, or with their shows, or their films, or their plays, or their drawing shows, or anything that 
they have ownership and double right over you know and that's why I never was in a bind with them when it came to that that's why when they were that's when and that's why when they were flagging everyone else for ownership and double right they never flagged us because we never had anything in the films that they had ownership and double right over you know so hopefully that answers your asking thing to why we never got never <coughs> gotten flagged or gotten in a bind with Toei over ownership and double right of anything in our films because we don't put because at the end of the day we didn't put nothing in our films that they have ownership and double right over so they would have nothing to flag it on you know so anyway that's how we never got in a bind with Toei and that's how we never got in a bind with any other business if you like this film then follow us over here at Sailor Moon for Life watch the other film we made yesterday over here you know with Sailor Jupiter Lita you know talking about why we don't work with Clipmate or you know or Film Fighter or video editor or film shifter I Sailor Venus Mina or Sailor Hot World and I'll see you later goodbye farewell